Nothing good ever seems to happen in bathrooms when gaming, especially in scary games. The Silent Hill series is notorious for bathroom scares, so here's why you shouldn't enter the bathrooms in Silent Hill games. The first reason happens at Midwich Elementary School in Silent Hill 1. What I loved about the first Silent Hill is they never really had to make their scares over the top or super obvious. Upon entering the bathroom, this is what you hear coming from one of the stalls. I thought it was great that Dead by Daylight included this exact moment in their game. We need more of this subtlety in horror games. While there's nothing wrong with a jump scare here and there, something like this always adds to the tension. Next we have a moment from the Toluca Prison bathroom in Silent Hill 2. If you walk over to the third stall and interact with it several times, leaving the bathroom will trigger this sound coming from the stall. I love this one. Scares like this just keep you on your toes throughout the playthrough. When approaching and knocking on this particular stall, you'll hear a couple of knocks back coming from the inside. As you walk away, you'll hear the stall door open, and you'll find that there's nothing there apart from a bloody mess. The mind games that Silent Hill 3 plays are just great. I couldn't leave out this particular scene from PT. Take a look. You got fired so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. The talking fetus in the sink did not creep me out as much as the other scares in this video. Maybe it's the narration, or the fact that it's so over the top, but I can definitely understand why it made players feel a little uneasy. With future Silent Hill games on the horizon, I'm excited to see what's in store for the series. Just stay away from the bathrooms.